All right, we go back now to our top story. We're in urgent application by the Democratic Alliance to stop the removal of uh, their mayor, uh, Stevens Mokhalaba, and uh, Speaker Katlejo Matebe has been postponed in the High Court uh, in Pretoria. For more on this, we're now joined by political analyst Olani Dube. Thanks so much indeed for joining us. Welcome to the program. So they have another day uh, to... <laughs> Uh, I wonder if it isn't just delaying the obvious and it's more a stay of execution rather than actually moving to keep the, their mayor in place. Uh, Peter, I, it's clear now that uh, we as South African who have been witnessing the DA, especially in Swane, uh, sliding into the rapid hole. Now it is in the rapid hole. And what you are seeing uh, with all these court cases is a clear indication that says uh, these are the lasting kicks of the dying remnants of a individual who were in this position during the dubious or the ambiguous leadership of Musi Maimani. It is clear the DA is going to lose its one. And what they are doing right now is really is, 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 is confusing everyone. Why are they not letting it go? Because we have witnesses, as I've said, lots of shambles from that uh, leadership in Tswane. It is, to a certain extent, even an embarrassment to those who are in the leadership core of the DA because they have moved away from the liberal ethos and the, 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 the image that the DA has always been trying to portray to the South Africans. So what do you think could have gone wrong in Swane in particular, especially when you compare it to Cape Town, who some people might say is much better run, and yet it's the same party. How did they get it wrong in Swane? I, I, it, it's clear. You have to understand that every organization is an institution and the leaders that must ascend into to leadership position must be product of that particular institution so that when they lead, they portray the, 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 the image and, and also the socialization or one can say they are the product of that particular institution. But when you look at the number of people who joined DA uh, recently, they are there for only and only one simple reason, of which is to have an access to a better livelihood. And so they've moved away to, to, to service the, 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 the people of South Africa and to service their constituents, of which such kind of, 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 of illness is engulfing all the leaders in, 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 in our political space. And so the DA that we saw in, in Swane is not, di is not di uh, different from any other political organization that always ravage and that always, um, I can say, backtrack from its promises that they always make during uh, the election. And <laughs> look, if you look at the issue of Glad Africa and the, how the issue of the city manager and the mayor, uh, Msimango, was being handled, clearly it shows that during the time of uh, Musi Maimane in the DA, there was a lack of leadership and there was a lack of clear uh, understanding of what DA want to do with that particular municipality. So Stevens Mahalaba has his own controversies and uh, issues that uh, perhaps would have affected him as an individual anyway. Uh, but from what you're saying, are we saying that we would have got to this point anyway, even if uh, Stevens Mahalaba had been squeaky clean? Look, th 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 that, that mayor is a very controversial one, was too excited. Uh, I, I think he, he had a kind of a, a dream of what he wants to be, uh, of which was really a, 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 an antithesis of what was happening in that municipality. And the way he left, or the way he's going to vacate that uh, position, surely is a clear indication that he was not fit to govern that particular municipality, I mean, that particular metro. And so I think the, the way the DA uh, was so excited about this coalition uh, that was happening, it, for, it, 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 it put aside uh, the reality that it needs strong 
people in order to run those municipalities. Look at Bongani Baloi is a shining example of what do we mean by the product of the DA. And he, he, when it goes to Johannesburg, everyone knows that Mashaba was never a DA, but he was just a pure businessman using the DA brand in order to advance his political and business career. And so in these two municipalities, the Johannesburg as well as Swane, they were not led by the DA uh, product, but they were led by people who jump into the bedwork on of trying to become quasi a uh, politician, but deep down they know very well that they are business people. So the face of the party has changed significantly uh, in the last uh, two, three weeks. So the question now becomes, can the DA recover? I mean, they've lost Nelson Mandela Bay Metro, Tswane and uh, Johannesburg. Can they come back from this or do they just accept that this is their lot in life to for forever sit in the opposition benches? Look, you have to understand that the DA, what uh, they've done uh, with these three coalition, I mean, municipalities, and also the, 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 the coming back of Helen Zilla, they've done what we call it constructive uh, destruction, where they said, look, let's deconstruct what we created, because it seems as if it's not working or it's not gelling well with, our, with the DA's ethos and their, and their end game in South Africa. And so now, by going back and re-inviting uh, your Tony Leon as well as your, uh, your, your, your Helen Zilla and, and Stan Hayes and, and the others. Possible the DA is saying, look, let's go back to the basic. Let's go and, and revive on, on, on what we stand for rather than trying to do what you, we, we are not meant to, to do in, in, in South Africa. And so the, recently they've been in, uh, they visited uh, Germany to study the coalition government. And so it shows that DA has got an end game and DA be in bed with the ruling elites of our country. Maybe they are going to redefine and reimagine how the South African politics are supposed to be, uh, to be played uh, henceforth. And so one can say those who were there during the times of Musi Maimane they might find themselves to be at the receiving end. And so we know that there are people like Mbali Ntuli, as well as Bongan Baloi, and the others who have been groomed uh, by the so-called uh, the DA and who have been there in the schools of DA and who try to understand what is the meaning of being a black liberal. And so those are the people that I see uh, going forward, going to be uh, rewarded uh, into the leadership position. Not those folks who just jump into the DA bedwork on just so that they become politicians as well as business people and then it, they live an aristocratic life, of which DA have seen it that number of people or the majority do not mean glory to the organization. And so they would rather remain small, focus, and reward those who have been loyal to the DA for years. All right. Well, Annie, we've run out of time, but very briefly, if you can answer this. So on Thursday, the court will hear the case. And uh, in the bigger picture and the longer term, might it better be better for them to lose the case and rebuild? Or um, what would be the consequence if they somehow manage uh, to get their mayor back into play? Look, the silence of Helen Zilla when it comes to the issues of Johannesburg as well as in Tswana, is an indication that the DA is saying we better lose this uh, municipality. As I've said, the DA is in a process of constructive destruction to say, let's do away with all these alliances, these toxic alliances that we've been having. Let's redefine ourselves, as I've said. Them, they have opted to go back to their roots and represent the interests that uh, they were anointed to represent in our country. And so whatever uh, verdict that is going to come out on Thursday, I think to the DA, what they wish is that that municipality, the DA must not lead it uh, towards 21, 2021, but it must be some a form of coalition where the DA is not going to be part of because they've seen that it's very toxic to be in a coalition with the with the, with the EFF. They end up 
being uh, embroiled in scandals that, <laughs> that the DA think that it tarnish its brand. All right. Well, I need to be able to leave it there. Thanks very much indeed, as always, for your insights.